right, guys, we're going to be talking about conception and pregnancy, early pregnancy journey this week because of um, it being Pregnancy Awareness Week, which is very exciting. So we're going to talk a little bit about the process, just about what is happening inside in the uterus and when the, when the pregnancy is growing and how it implants. And then we'll talk a little bit about uh, symptoms of early pregnancy as well as size of baby as it grows. So um, hopefully this answers a few of your questions if you've got anything. So first of all, just talking about how it all works. So the sperm is going to obviously come and swim up through the cervix into the uterus, uh, into the, uh, the, the uterine cavity, and then it starts to swim down the, the tubes. Okay, so that's how it works. That's what we're expecting to happen. And obviously the idea is that it meets up with the, the little egg that's been collected and is inside the tube. So as you know, once a month, we're going to usually pop out a single egg. Sometimes you might uh, ovulate or pop out two or more, but usually it's a single egg uh, per month that we produce. So it pops out of the ovary and then it gets collected by the little finger-like structures on the tubes of the uh, fallopian tubes. So these little fingers pick up the egg and it gets transported into the, the tube here where it will meet the sperm that's come up through the cervix, through the uterus, into the, into the tube. So fertilization actually starts um, in the tube, okay? And then what happens over the next five days is this little embryo, this little zygote, that's the name that we give uh, a little sperm and an egg that has come together. So you might hear us talking about that if you're one of our patients, a zygote. So the little zygote is formed here. That's father's DNA, mom's DNA. And it actually starts to roll down the tube over the next five days. And it then gets into the cavity here. And usually where it implants, where it embeds or um, burrows into the endometrium, that's the inner lining of the uterus itself, usually that will be at the fundus, the top of the womb. Okay, so that's one of the places we check before we put a little embryo back inside or whatever. So by the time it gets into the cavity of the uterus itself, it's usually about five days old already and we call it a blastocyst. 